Dear friends, today I'm going to see a precious stone from black. So, to find the shape of the curve down which it beats sliding from the breast, that's reached by gravity from one point to another in the least time, is very stone problem. To find the shape of the curve when it beats slide from the one point to another in the least time with the friction is plunge stroke problem. See, a bead sliding from the highest point to the lowest point is in a straight line and this curve is cycloid in this circle. Now you can realize that a bead is sliding from the highest to lowest at the very least time the curve follow is a cycloid. Let's see the explanation. Suppose the point of mass M is falling from the fixed point A. Will V be the speed of the particle moving along the curve? The transposing distance dx over the time is equal to ds divided by velocity v. Now the total time taken from the highest point a to the lowest point b is tab equals integral a to b dx divided by b. Now integral a to b ds is nothing but a root of 1 plus dy divided by dx the whole square into dx. That is simply root of 1 plus y dot square into dx divided by v. At a point A, the velocity is under rest. So the kinetic energy is equal to half mv square, v equal to 0, so t is equal to 0. Again, potential energy is equal to mgh. So mg into the bead is sliding from the highest point to the lowest point. There is no height, so that's why it's equal to 0. So the velocity, sorry, potential energy is equal to 0. That's why t plus v is equal to 0. Now we can come to the lowest point, B. Now T is equal to half mv square. B travels from the highest point and to the lowest point. It comes to this position, so half mv square. Now V is equal to potential energy mgh and that's equal to mg. Now the highest point to the lowest point. So that you are taking that as minus, the direction is from the x-axis from the origin to the downwards so that direction is a negative so minus y axis so that mg minus y from the highest to the lowest point so that you can write minus mg y now add this together t plus b is equal to half mv square minus mg y now we can compare this two so that half mv square minus mg y is equal to zero left hand side are equal the half mv square is equal to mgy and v square is equal to 2gy. Cancel this. Now, v is equal to square root of 2gy. Now, you can apply this v in equation number 1. In the last slide, tab is equal to integral a to b root 1 plus y dot square divided by 2 root gy into dx. Now, use the Euler's Lagrange's equation that is d by dx dou f by dou y dot minus dou f by dou y is equal to 0. So for that, if you need it, you can take this f as this, this version. So f is equal to root of 1 plus y dot square divided by root of 2g1. f is a function of y and y dot. Now we can find df by dx. Sorry, do f by do x. That's equal to do f by do y into dy by dx plus do f by do y dot into dy dot by dx. So here it consists of y and y dot. Now you can find this. So before that, you can write this one as do f by do y as d by dx of do f by do y dot into dy by dx. Using the equation number that is Euler's Lagrange's equation. You can see the last slide. There you can find dou f by dou y from the euler lagrange equations d by dx dou f by dou y dot into dy by dx. Thus dou f by dou y dot dy dot dou f by dou x. Now d by dx dou f by dou y dot dy by dx you can simply return as y dot. Now dou f by dou x is equal to d by dx dou f by dou y dot into y dot. It is nothing but uv form. If you uh, d of uv uv dash plus d u dash you will get this one. Now, dou f by dou x minus this is equal to 0. So, you can write this as 
d by dx of f minus 2f by 2y dot into y dot is equal to 0. So while integrating at iterative, so that is become f minus 2f by 2y dot into y dot equal to 0. Uh, sorry, it is integrating so that we will get a constant a, but and now f is equal to root of 1 plus y dot square root of root of 2 g1. Now you can find do f by do y dot from this equation. Do f by do y dot. So just write 1 to the root of 2 gy and a root x differentiation is 1 by 2 root x. So similarly here, root of 1 plus y dot square is 1 to the 2 root of 1 plus y dot square. And to differentiate this one, you will get 2 y dot. So by simplifying, you will get y dot to the root 2 gy root of 1 plus y dot square. Now, Already we have f minus 2f by dou y dot, y dot is equal to a from equation 5. There you can substitute this value. Substituting the value of dou f by dou y dot. And f value is the root of 1 plus y dot square root by root 2 gy. That's equal to a. Now you are doing the simplification. So Taking the LCM, everything you will get 1 plus y dot square minus y dot square to the pair root g y root of 1 plus y dot square is equal to a. After simplifying, sorry, cross multiply, you will get this value. Again, squaring, you will get 1 is equal to a square, etc. Now, at most, at last, you will get y into 1 plus y dot square is equal to 1 to the pair 2 g a square, and that you are taking as 2, so this is a constant. Now, you know that the y dot is equal to dy by dx. As now that the slope is equal to dy by dx, that's equal to tan. And that is noted here as chi. So tan psi. So y dot is equal to tan psi. Now y into 1 plus y dot is tan psi. So tan psi square is equal to 2 Now y into secant square psi is equal to 2c. So y is equal to 2c by secant square psi. In the same way, we have to find for x. So here, we return here 2c into cos square psi, and that's nothing but cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2. So already here 2 is there, so 1 plus cos 2 psi. Now, you know that y dot is equal to dy by dx, and the slope is equal to tan. Okay, tan psi. Now, dx by dy, the reciprocal of tan is cot. So, dx is equal to cot psi into dy. And already you find out, uh, sorry, uh, you already find out the value of y. Just differentiate this. So, that you will get constant and cos 2 psi is minus 2 cos psi 2 psi. Uh, one more, the constant c is there with respect to psi. So, d psi. Now, minus 2 psi into cos psi by sin psi and the sin 2 psi 2 sin psi into cos psi into d psi and canceling you will get minus 4 c cos square psi d psi now you have to integrate this x is equal to and cos square theta is equal to 1 plus cos 2 theta divided by 2 and canceling and taking the integration again you will get a minus c 2 psi plus sin 2 psi and once again y is equal to c into 1 plus cos 2 psi so this x and y is the equation of side point. Thank you.